In front of these witnesses and by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and husband. Juniper, don't get that. Hey. Glenn, what are you doing here? Glenn, as in Glenn Scott. Charles? Can't be. <laughs> it is. Right, you, you two went to the academy together. Oh, is that why you're writing your dissertation about us? He's, he's doing, doing what? what? Yeah. Yeah, he's writing a paper about serial killers. You know, nature versus nurture. Specifically how it relates to the Cooper family. The hell? I don't count. Of course you do, babe. Since my old rival from the Academy is so interested in learning what makes a serial killer tick, I think we should all play a game. Would you put that gun away, General? We're in a high school. As far as I'm concerned, we're behind enemy lines, Sergeant. Hello? Anyone in here? Uncle Frank! Archie, open up! It's a good thing you told me about Paris tonight. Uncle Frank, Kev's dad said there was a prison break. Maybe not. I overheard some of my fellow inmates saying they were getting paid to trash the town, especially this school. Only Hiram Lodge would be crazy enough to do that. And now he's made us a target, which means we gotta go. General, you only have six bullets in that gun. What are you going to do when you run out? The smart play here is to withdraw while we still can. You want us to lead civilians out into open, hostile territory? I went to this school. I grew up in this town. We can slip out through a tunnel behind the boiler, and then I can get everyone at the sheriff's station safely. Sounds like a plan, Sergeant. So this fun game is called... Pincushion Man, where the youngest member of a family takes a pen and sticks it in the pincushion man. Tonight, that man is Glenn. No. And if memory serves, Juniper is the youngest member of our family by three minutes? Here's your pen, little lady. All you have to do is stick it in the pincushion man. Nice and deep. Please, 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 Charles, I'm begging you. She's nine years old, okay? This will scar her for the rest of her life. Me and you, we're lost causes. There's no hope for us. But there's still hope for them, okay? Please, please let there be hope for the twins. Please. You're right. doesn't need to lose her since tonight. But that means you have to take her turn. One round, pincushion man. Then we'll get back to the wedding. And then we'll be gone in the dark. Fine. Juniper, Dad, let's get upstairs now. Please don't do this. I don't have a choice. Trust me. Rotten hell, Glenn. I can't believe she actually did it. Right now. <sighs> 